Sanctuary Sanctum Mystery. Brought to you by the makers of Party Tales. Good evening, friend. I'm Raymond J. Hold. Remember? Won't you uh, come in to our inner sanctum? Hmm? Yeah, it's very gratifying that you have the courage to come back. I was afraid our story last week might have been too much for you. But, since it wasn't, suppose we see what you think of tonight's tale. The story of a strange, weird voyage that makes the ancient mariner look like one of the rover boys. <laughs> Inner Sanctum Mysteries tonight bring you The Death Ship, featuring an all-star cast of radio favorites in an original radio drama by Robert Newman. Presented for your entertainment by the makers of Carter's Little Liverpool, the best friend to your sunny disposition. <laughs> Question before we begin. Do you really know anything about the sea? The sea that covers two thirds of the Earth's surface. It's a place of storms and sudden death. A place where anything can happen and usually does aboard the death ship. The Caribbean. Vast blue home of the Gulf Stream and the mysterious Agatha Wilde. Somewhere near its center, heading north, an open boat. In it, their eyes red rimmed, their faces raw and cracked. Now, five men. One of them glances at stern. There, trailing them, is a menacing, triangular black skin. Captain. Captain Spike. Aye. What is it, Carter? He's, he's back. He's following us again. Oh, that shot. The same one that picked us up right after the wreck. How do you know it's that same one? Because I do, and I don't like it. You know what it means. It's mass death. You keep on following us until... I'll hold the door, Captain. You can't get him. Ah, uh, what's the thing? I tried three times already. But please, Captain. Well, give me your gun and let me try. Okay. Hold the tiller. Did you get him? He'll never even flinch. Maybe he'll go away when Josh dies. That's what he's waiting for. Yes, he's a crazy guy. With all his ribs, Tobin? Okay. He's crazy, he's a crazy guy. Look, he's opening his eyes. Water. Water. He got some for water. I heard him. Uh, aren't you going to kiss him in? Don't be a fool, Sam. You know he's dying. Water won't save him. There's hardly enough for the rest of us. He's entitled to his share, sir. He can have my rights in the side. Well, for my money, you're crazy, but... All right, Corky, pour some out. I'll have a cup. Okay, Captain. I think you're not too basic. Well, here you go. Thanks. Hey, Josh. Uh, hey, now drink this. Water. Where? Where am I? What happened? Don't you remember, Josh? Uh, the Mary Kay, that storm last night. We ran into a reef off Skeleton Key. Found it. All hands were lost except us. Some gear fell on you and you got kind of hurt. Skeleton Key? I remember. My ticket and we had to fight storming. We were clear of the reef. The same got off. I did. And then we... You know, Captain Pike... You wanted to wreck the ship. What? You're crazy. You did. Piled it up for your insurance. The corporal was in it with you. You had the lot. Oh, no. Before we even struck. Well, if that's true, then what are we doing here in a whaleboat without any food and hardly any water? The ship sealed over after something. You couldn't get the launch clear. <laughs> you murdered. Throw the whole ship company. And then, I'm dying soon. Well, I'm putting a curse on you, on both of you. A curse that will follow you and just... Uh, uh. Josh! Josh! 
He don't lie to think he was waterlogged. What about a plague, sir? The whole crew dying off. There might be. Look in this cabin here. Here it is. Yeah, it looks like it must have been the captain's cabin. Aye. Everything's shit case here, too. Bunk made up. Hey, what's that? There, get the wall. The sea chest. Hold on. Hold? That chest was all before you were born. Look at the iron work. The rust on it. Where do you suppose it's in it? Well, now we are going to see. There. Oh, 
Benson? No. <laughs> That's good. All belong now. Almost three bells. Sun will be coming up in a minute. When it does, I got a hunch we'll get a landfall. And then? <laughs> what do you think? I don't think. I know. You'll kill me. Take her in by yourself. My boy, Benson. That's just what I'm going to do. The Dons couldn't get the gold home, neither could Talbot, but I can and I'm going to. Look, there's the sun. And the head off air off the port ball, land. Yeah, land. Okay, Benson. Ready? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing <laughs> at? You, go ahead and shoot. You think you can hurt me? You can't. I can't. Have you forgotten that whale boat with the five men in it that Sam saw last night? The five men he said were us? Have you forgotten what he said that meant? Uh, we're sailing due north. The sun should be rising on the starboard side in the east, shouldn't it? But it's not. It's coming up to larboard in the west. Sun rising in the west? Why, why it can't be. And that land ahead there, it's not the coast. Don't you recognize it? It's Skeleton Key where you wrecked the Mary Kay. There's what's left of it. Now, do you understand? You're dead. You've been dead for two days. Dead and doomed to sail a death ship in a circle through all eternity. No! Oh, no, I'm not there. 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 I had a hunch you weren't dead. Well, who dead? Hadn't we both dead? Heck no. Does that slug through your shoulder feel as if you were? Well, no, but what you just said to Pike? A trick, so I could get his gun. Trick? There ain't no trick about the sun. He's rising in the west instead of me. No, it's not, Sam. As soon as I saw it, the whole thing came to me. You remember that body we found last to the wheel? The mate? You know what killed him? Hmm? Lightning. Lightning? Yeah. Struck by lightning during the storm when the Mary Kay went down. Besides killing him, it polarized the compass. Reversed it so that the needle pointed south instead of north. That's why it looked like the sun was coming up on the wrong side. That's why we ended back here at Skeleton Key again. We were sailing south all the time instead of north. Well, help me. Press it, well, but... We well, did see a whale boat with five men in it. Show you this. And you know who they were. The men Talbot and his mate set adrift so they wouldn't have to share the treasure with us. You know what we're going to do? We're going to pick them up and get them to help us sail this ship home. And the treasure? You said you didn't want any part of it. Well, I don't either. They found it. Let them divvy it up. But us, uh, we found this ship. Hmm. It's great. Damn it. It's ours, huh? Ours to do anything we like with. We're our own boss from here on in, then. And what more can a man want? Nothing, Tom. Nothing in the world. Raymond, or there wouldn't have been any progress. Oh, you mean we'd have to get along without such things as the telephone, the airplane, the electric lights, the radio, and Carter's little liver pill. Heaven forbid. Yes, Raymond, scores of people would hate to be without Carter's little liver pill because they've learned that a mean, cranky, sour disposition due to irregularity often takes a decided change for the better. 
Soon after they try, these simple little pills made of vegetable brush. Yes, yes. Now, be sure to mention that Carter's little liver pills do this by increasing the flow of a very important digestive juice. That's right, folks. And the name, Carter's Little Liver Pills, tells us where that vital juice comes from. So next time you don't feel good, try Carter's Little Liver Pills. And see if you don't agree that they're the best friends to your sunny disposition. 25 cents at all drugstores. Again, your host, getting ready to close that door to the inner sanctum and say goodnight until next week when our guest will once again be Paul Lucas. I hope you enjoyed our little story and that you got its moral. Hmm? What moral? Oh, it had one all right. All our stories have. Uh-huh. Dead men tell no tales. Except on the inner sanctum. So, next Sunday night, we'll overcome the hot weather and invite your friends in for a chilling evening and listen to Inner Sanctum Mystery. However, if you just can't wait till the coming Sunday for our next one, satisfy your craving for a good murder story by reading this month's Inner Sanctum Mystery novel, I'll Eat You Last, by H.C. Brendan. Good night. <laughs> Featured in tonight's cast were Arthur Vinton as Captain Pike, Byron McCormick as Tom, and Gilbert Mack as Fred. Original music by Lou White. Inner Sanctum Mysteries will be on the air again next Sunday evening, same station, same time, when we will again have the honor of bringing you the popular and gifted star of stage, screen, and radio, Mr. Paul Lucas. Be sure to listen in. This is Ed Hurley reminding you, when you don't feel good, try Carter's Little Liverpills. <laughs>